morning blues I open my eyes And I'm greeted by your cute little smile The world is new with you by my side Everything is beautiful Tuesday afternoon I'm calling you home Just to hear your voice on the phone I'm Good morning everyone, it is Saturday the 9th of March, isn't it, Ralphie? And we are having a slow morning. I always have a slower morning on a Saturday, slower than normal. <laughs> I've got a full face of makeup on because we're gonna be filming some outfits today for Instagram Reels. It's been ages since I did some outfit inspiration, outfit putting together, outfit of the day is called, isn't it? Why couldn't I remember that? And yeah, I do get inspired every season and I'm just getting really inspired for the spring season and just putting some different outfits together. Anyway, that is what we're up to today, as well as a host of other jobs. We've got sausages cooking downstairs in the kitchen. Don't you just love the smell of a breakfast cooking, like through the house of a weekend. I just love it. I just love it. I don't know if you can hear that in the background, but Ash is working away upstairs in the bedrooms. So I will give you an update. I'll probably give you an update on the bedrooms tomorrow. I've been collecting a few clips as we go along. This is a renovation blog and obviously there'll be work scattered throughout the vlog and some plans hopefully in this vlog, especially for my dressing room. So that's really exciting. Sorry about the noise, but this is renovation live. <laughs> He's now moved on to the second bedroom. So my dressing room is prepped, ready for plasters to come. He's now moved on to the second bedroom. We've actually got rid of the fire. So I'll insert some footage and we'll talk about that probably tomorrow because I don't want to get in his way and it'll be nice and quiet tomorrow morning when he's gone to the gym and we'll, yeah, go in there and have a really good look around. All the carpets have gone and them old dusty curtains. So as you can see, I have not touched the hair this morning. This is what it's like. It dries naturally out of the shower after my evening shower. It dries naturally and this is what we're looking like. However, I've slept on it. It's all kinky and, you know, spiky look at that fringe you guys i really can't do anything with it anyway you know how i usually swear by the revlon one step styler it's like a hair blow drying brush anyway it's got this massive like barrel and i wish that they did it in a smaller barrel i think they do now but i just wasn't prepared to go and buy a new one anyway because my hair is like mid-length that bigger barrel i think suits more of a um, of a longer hair length and I've only got like mid-length hair at best. And then when I have a good cut like this, it gets like, you know, quite short. So I do need a smaller barrel just to get that wave in the ends, which I love, that blow dry look. Anyway, I found this on Amazon. So I'll link this down below, but I think you guys are gonna love this. I'm actually in love with it. It's about 30 pounds and it is this um hot brush so you know how you've got the metal brushes round brushes that you use in a salon along with the blow dryers to get that blow dry look well this is obviously on a cord because it's heated so you don't need like octopus hands because i don't know about you but i can't blow dry my hair with a hair dryer and a brush i just can't do that this is so easy i've been using it for a few days and i'm just so in love with it but you plug it in obviously and you just press the on button here like that and as you can see there it's heating up quite quickly i think it goes up to like 210 degrees and while we wait for it to warm up i thought we would prep my hair on camera i'm going to show you what kind of look I can achieve from this brush and it's only 30 pounds. You guys know what Amazon's like. If it's changed in price, it's because it's got really popular, I think, because they do do that, unfortunately. It's actually finished heating, but while it's heating up usually, I'll just part my hair right down the back, it doesn't have to be neat, into two sections, bring everything around the front. Always, always brush my hair dry because if you brush your hair wet, it's more prone to breaking. So obviously you go from ends all the way up 
um, for less breakage. I just love how healthy my hair is looking lately. When I used to have blonde hair, it was just so damaged looking all the time. I'm now gonna part my hair into two halves. Elnet heat protecting styling spray here. This is the one I'm using at the moment. It's got some sort of a conditioner in it and the first time I used it, I think I overused it and my hair just wouldn't do anything because my hair is oily anyway. I think it'd be really good if you've got really dry damaged hair from bleaching. This one, it gives it a really soft conditioner like silky feel where I don't really need that because my hair is oily so mine looked quite greasy I think I did over spray it as well so I'm only going to use this in the end so I will probably try another one after I've finished this bottle let me know in the comments if you guys can recommend any heat protecting sprays and I'm just going to spray it lightly picked up about an inch thickness at the back there we're going to grab our hot brush styler and I'm going to work vertically because I've got some kinks in the top that need straightening out literally it takes two seconds watch this isn't that good I'm gonna flick this one out. I do tend to go inwards and outwards, like I curl under and then I curl over. I just think it gives it real body and volume when you do do that. Literal seconds. <laughs> so I like to curl this section away from my face. It's so good. So I'm gonna do the same on this side and then we're gonna let down the top sections split them into two like we did with the underneath and work from back to front again and we're all done so i'm going to pop you on a time lapse so you can watch this unfold and yeah i really really recommend Under the skies of blue. and it gives it a really soft edge like when I've tried to create this with my GHD straighteners I don't know it drags the hair like it do, 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 you know like it grips it drags the hair anyway um I do have an old pair though so I might actually be late to the party might everybody might have one of these already but I know GHD do one called the glide which I have actually had my eye on it's been on my wish list for quite some time like I always check vintage and even on vintage second hand they cost a fortune yeah I'm just not prepared to spend that much on a hot brush when you can just get the same effect from something like a lot cheaper like the cost per use like because I, I blow dry my hair every single day like I said best invention ever so I think I mentioned in my previous video that um, I'm not styling the fringe. I've been pinning it back because it's just not, it's still too short. So this is usually how I would style the bangs. It's just not long enough. And then I'm gonna come round like this. But do you know what? Like it's just not long enough. Now usually to get my fringe to sweep like that when it gets a bit longer, I will come down the front and I'll curl it that way upwards. But at the moment, cause it's so short, cause it's so short, I can't really do that. So I'm just gonna show you how I'm styling it at the moment. Like I said though, it's still too short just right now. So it's probably not gonna sit well and I might have to just pin it up because I'm not loving the fringe right now but as you can see it's going to get longer and it's going to sweep in with the rest of it and yeah just really happy with this product so I had to share it with you guys right I better get downstairs and get this breakfast on the go oh, the well we have to document this stuff Ash <laughs> I'll see you in your gear what? I said I want to see you in your gear. Can't hear you. <laughs> can you not hear me? I can hear you, yeah. of course I can hear you, you your voice. <laughs> Cheeky 
devil, isn't he today? <laughs> I'd like another sweet and I'll be on my way. You look like a proper gentleman with the hat on. I mean, his head's way too big for it. <laughs> So cute, my little boy. Are you the cutest boy in the whole wide world? Yes, you're waiting for your daddy there, aren't you? Because it's nearly time, isn't it? It's nearly time to go, daddy. How's it going? I'm not sure, I can't see, but Ralph is waiting at the top of the stairs. It's all right. Like a good little boy. Aren't you, Ralphie? Eh? <laughs> oh my god you are filthy look at them nails everybody <gasps> shocking <laughs> wednesday thursday friday life is a bliss waking up with you in my arms i've got it all nothing's amiss Everything is beautiful Sunday morning snooze With breakfast in bed And I listen to the song in my head It sings to you and the things that you do Cause you're everything Sunday the 10th of March so it's Mother's Day and I'm here at the train station I'm just waiting for Joelle to get off the train I've got here a little bit early so I thought I would jump on and say hello and I don't know why I've done that because I don't know how much of today I will be vlogging obviously I want to spend time with my daughter today and my family um, and have just a wonderful Sunday. I mean, there's no secrets over here. I don't get away with not making the roast dinner. But to be fair, I love cooking. I love being in the kitchen. I love being at home. And I love being with my family. So, like, that's my perfect day. So, yeah, I'm just waiting for Joelle now. I'm going to have a lovely day. Have a lovely day. <laughs> Guys, I hope you had a wonderful mother's day i always forget when the video is going out so like literally i'm saying it to you today and it's already gone by when you're seeing this video and sunday's video was pre-filmed as well and i didn't think that that would be out on sunday mother's day or else i would have said happy mother's day to you all in that video as well and i never did so i'm really really sorry i did do a post though this morning on you know the post community forum tab thing on uh, youtube and obviously over on instagram i wished everybody a happy mother's day and yeah i hope you all had a wonderful day with your loved ones squeezing them and <sighs> breathing them in <laughs> she's here she's here <laughs> guys look at joelle's hair <gasps> stunning it's so nice isn't it how long it is. So nice. Comes all the way down to your bum, doesn't it? Trees are in green, the ocean is grey, sky is a vague blue, come my way. My room is a mess, it could use a hand. My favorite TV shows are capturing. I know I must get it right, I must get back in the fight. This can't be a surprise. I think I'll let it slide.
your ponytail. It is gorgeous, guys, look. I'll show you the footage back, Joelle, from behind. Isn't her hair just beautiful? Oh my gosh, my girl. She's my little Aurora. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, my lovers. I'm having a really quiet day today and it's so lovely. It's coming up that time of the month and I always slowly decline and dip. So just so you know, <laughs> if I'm not my usual self, it's that monthly inconvenience here again. Like it comes around so fast. Anyway, we're going to have a nice quiet day. It's so lovely. The birds are so singing outside and I just love hearing it. So yeah, we're having a quiet morning this morning. We had a wonderful Mother's Day yesterday. Just a nice family Sunday, really. I got a bottle of Whispering Angel, which is already gone. We drank it, all of us, um, with the Christmas dinner. Christmas dinner? <laughs> with the Sunday roast dinner yesterday. Christmas dinner, I wish. <laughs> she also got me these all butter shortbreads. And they are strawberry and clotted cream flavour in this beautiful little tin from M&S. So that's lovely as well. I haven't opened these yet, but I might have one later with a cup of tea. Because I just love cake and tea and shortbread and biscuits. <laughs> I'm in my grandmother era. It's a shame I haven't got a grandchild, let's just say that. <laughs> oh, do you know what? I'd be the best grandma ever. I'm talking apple pie grandmother you know the typical grandmother the one that picks you up on a friday after school and you can't wait to go around to her house and bake and get cozy and drink hot chocolates before bed and read bedtime stories like peter rabbit and all that stuff like the ones who bring the magic you know like that's what kind of grandmother i would be and it's a shame that i am not going to be a grandmother anytime soon anyway which is kind of a good thing isn't it so <laughs> just live your life joelle <laughs> anyway i wanted to take this day to show you and talk you through what's going on with the renovation upstairs so ash has been in there in the evenings and it's not been great lighting so i do apologize for the quality so i'm going to throw some clips in here of what i managed to capture of him just basically prepping those rooms and like ripping bits out. Okay, 
careful because his nails are sticking out. Yeah, well, I'll let me get out then. That's not very nice, is it? To taunt your wife like that. Oh, it does look Irish. They're like clovers, aren't they? Yeah. All leaf clovers, Ralphie. Ralphie, do you have to go in the muck? Yeah. Ralphie? Ralph he wants mummy to pick him up, don't you? And he's like, ooh, it's disgusting, daddy. You know what, you can get out because I, I, I'm a bit paranoid about stuff flying everywhere. Oh, one here. second, please. You've oh, brought me in here and now I am doing my thing. Look at the brickwork. It's been done decoratively here as well. Yes, sir. Here it has, look, at the top. It's been done, it's been so, without further ado, and guys, it's not great lighting, it's quite dull today, it's on the verge of rain, <laughs> as usual, but we're going to go into those rooms and I'm going to talk you through what got done and what's going to get done and give you a little tour of what's happening in there so far. So let's pop the light on so we can see. As you can see, we've got some timbers on the floor here. Oh, my shoes come off. <laughs> You definitely need shoes in this house. We're going to start with the dressing room. Ta-da! Oh my God, we've got ladders. I might just have to borrow those so I can put the curtains up without Ash's help. So yeah, that's great news. We'll probably do that in this vlog then. Oh guys, the dust is still settling in here as well. <sighs> and it's getting on my chest already. Very dusty on the floor. Things stacked up all the way along the windowsill. Tools of some sort. I've put you guys on a wide angle so you can see, but if you look at the chimney breast wall there, we've had to extend it with plasterboards and a stud wall just to this side here. He's even created that little like wing at the top to match that side because it wasn't central and we're keeping the fire and at the moment we're looking for a fire surround so what we were going to do is just buy a fire surround and thrift one like from facebook marketplace and do what we did in the bedroom we don't need to tile the back because this as much as it's glossed over i will be paint stripping this i might have to do that in the next vlog um because it might take a couple of times but we're going to paint strip this and then, yeah, I'm going to clean up this bit inside. I'm going to get this tiled. Hubby's going to tile a section down here. And we were just going to have a fireplace like we did in the bedroom. Ash has been doing some research and he's found somebody that uh, specialises in restoring these kind of fires and he makes them up. They're about 300, 400 pounds. The guy's about two hours away. So at the moment, it's just a case of uh, thinking about what we want to do. Do we want to go to this guy and spend like three or 400 pounds and get this fire? Like, because it is a focal point and we do want to make the most of these features. Or shall we just like patch this one up and see what we can do with it? I mean, there's a couple of options flying around, but that's what we're going to do. We're going to tile obviously this bottom area as well and have it where it's a proper mantelpiece in this room. And then I did want your guys' opinions. So the two alcoves at either side here of the chimney breast wall. So this is going to be my dressing room and I don't know if to have shelves built in in these alcoves here and have like handbag storage or just whatever you want to do with shelves really in a dressing room or shall I have rails put in because don't forget we've got the heights of the ceiling in here it's super high so we can put rails in and have our clothes hanging in there but it would be open but yeah what would you guys do leave it in the comments would you have shelves in either side there of the chimney breast wall or would you do shelves and then the central fireplace. So I don't know what to do. So that's floating around. Um, I'll see what you guys say and think about it further. 
Also, we have had to have a new ceiling put in as well. As you can see, this plasterboard's going up as we speak. Fresh new plasterboards on the ceiling. We're just gonna cover the old ceiling there and there'll be all new, new, new plasterboards. Initially, we were planning to have our wardrobes going in this corner there. So that's that. I don't need a dressing room in here because I'm gonna have that in the office. And then we've got this long wall at the back here. Um, well, if I want to have a desk there, I suppose, but the window would be behind me. So it, I would be backlit and that's not a good spot to do your makeup in. You need to be facing the window. However, I could film my videos along this wall. Not sure how the decor will turn out in here and where things are going to exactly go. It can change at this point, but I'm just throwing the ideas around because I like to have a standard plan. As you can see, there's some pipes hanging out here, hanging out of the floor. We're moving the radiator. The old radiator has been thrown out. It's in the garden, ready to be scrapped. And hubby has turned off these pipes i don't know what the correct terminology is but he knows what he's doing and he's cut the pipes off like there's no gas supply coming through so nobody needs to worry about anything we still need to i think he's done the wiring i'm not sure if he's done the wiring or that comes afterwards anyway we're moving the radiator there's nothing going back there so they'll be they'll be gone soon i don't know how i think you get I think I think they hide them behind the walls or back under the floor or something like that. Anyway, they won't be there. We're going to be having a vintage style radiator. You know, the really low ones under the window here. So, yeah, and that's this room. Obviously, we're going to have carpet in here and also probably layer a rug on top of that as well. Not sure what we're going to do with the floor. Like I said, they're just ideas floating around. Things can change at this stage. But yeah, that's the dressing room so far. But we're all prepped and ready for a plasterer to come in, nearly, once we've finished up the ceilings up there and the plasterboards have gone up. And yeah. Oh gosh, I can just imagine a gorgeous vintage chandelier hanging in the middle of this room there, above the fireplace. I know exactly, I think, which lighting I'm gonna put in this room already. I just, I've just been dreaming about this room for so long, I can't wait for it all to start coming together. Let's go into the guest bedroom, AKA Joelle's bedroom, she's never here, but it'll be set up like a guest bedroom and her stuff will be put away. Not on sure, so that, um, cause she's never at home anyway. And ta-da! And that's what this bedroom looks like. I think, have we done the stripping? Oh. Not quite, not finished yet in here. But all the carpet's gone. That's been ripped out, scrapped. The main work that's been done in this room is, as you saw, the fireplace. So we ripped out the fireplace. Unfortunately, that's gone. Because as you can see, it was right up next to the wall. And it just didn't work in this room. I'm gutted. I'm gutted that we can't keep a fireplace in this room. But it just wasn't going to work out, you guys. It's a shame to see it go, but we we just think that that was the best option for in here. And if you can remember, this room, it kind of like went straight and then it tailed off to make room for that fireplace. Um, so Hubby's knocked down the brick wall, which was where you can see the plasterboards now. That's where the brick wall was. The rest of the walls, the stud wall, but that section was brick. So he's knocked out all the brick in the evenings and built a stud wall again and made everything straight. So this room's now straight. And once that's all been plastered, you will never know there were even a fireplace there. I think I tried to show you, didn't I, in the evenings, but you couldn't see um, properly because of the lighting, but they're the original tiles. They're like a green and cream four leaf clover. Isn't that? Amazing. <laughs> so yeah, we've just got a basic square room and we're just gonna have this plastered, fresh plastered. There wasn't much work to do in this room apart from strip it out, strip the walls and tidy up this wall and straighten it off. 
and work out that fireplace, which we've done now. So that's great news. Oh, I nearly forgot to tell you. So obviously this is going to be the guest bedroom. I can't wait to decorate this guest bedroom. I'll probably take some inspiration from like hotel rooms for this guest bedroom. But um, it'll be fun to put it together, worn it together on the vlogs. We've got rid of that big, massive Super King bed. It just, it was so huge in this room. The proportions wasn't great with that bed in this room. It was just too big. So yeah, we've, we've scrapped that. It's gone. And we're going to probably thrift a wooden bed frame off of Facebook Marketplace because... You know, it's we only want the frame and we'll get a new mattress and yeah. I'll probably do the bed on that back wall because I can't see it going anywhere else. Oh, actually, the radiator will probably go from this wall as well. Not sure where to put it. No, it would be really nice on that wall, like a media wall. Anyway, we'll see. <laughs> see what we can do. <laughs> see what we can get hubby to do. We'll see. <laughs> he says, no, we're doing it on a budget. Very basic. Blah, 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 blah. I want to get evaluation. And then he'll start doing the room and he gets inspired himself and starts wanting to build in things. So it's not always me, you guys. He's as bougie as me, I promise you now. As you can see, the window is right down the edge here. And I don't like things like that are not symmetrical. So this room's really awkward to me, the layout, which is why we've got rid of the fireplace. We could have put the fireplace in that middle bit there, couldn't we, at the end? I still might create a four fireplace in the middle of that wall there, unless we do the, be the bed down there and do a fireplace on this wall. Not sure how this is gonna pan out, you guys, but I'm excited nonetheless. But what I was trying to tell you is, before I got distracted again, the window's right at the edge there, which is unfortunate because it's not like symmetrical, but I'm gonna sachet curtains that way so that it really makes it work in this room. And do you know what, this room, I'll probably film in this room as well because um, it's beautiful lighting. It gets all the light, the morning light in the morning. This is the room we camped in for three months whilst we got some of downstairs done in our bedroom and yeah. So this is the first room that we lived in. Gosh, that was like literally a year ago on the 17th of March. Not sure what date you'll be watching this, but we're not far off that date, are we? So yeah, a year ago we were camping in this room and it would just come in spring. So I know that the sun comes in this room. It's just lovely. Let's get out of here and go into the third and final room, which is going to be the office. So... Oh, oh, it stinks. It absolutely stinks. You can see that there's a big hole up there into the roof um, because the actual skylight, skylight, what's the name? The, the access to the um, attic, it was actually in the hallway up here and along here, but we've had this like redone and replastered, so it's gone from there now and we have to put in an access somewhere else so we think we're going to do it up here now we were talking about converting the attic at the moment we're not going to do that because it's a lot of money and we don't know if we're staying here we'd only do it if we knew we were going to stay here and we don't know that yet so we're not going to do that and if we sell the house there's potential up there to create more bedrooms so gutted because that would have been i mean if we do stay here you know, there's that to look forward to, I suppose. And that would be an amazing dressing room because that's what I would have wanted it for, I think. We're going to create like a loft hatch, it's called, isn't it? <laughs> a loft hatch in this room, in the ceiling. And hubby hasn't done much in here. We need to strip some of this wood chip off the walls. That wood chip again. Oh my God. Actually, I tell a lie. There has been work done in here, as you can see. Hubby's been wiring in some more... Uh, wires this is going to be my office so as you saw in the other room where the wall wasn't straight obviously it wasn't straight on this side either because we're just on the other side of the wall in this room so we've had to straighten up in here as well so the wall came down the bricks and the stud wall's gone up the frame and then the plasterboard goes on top of that and voila you've got a new wall so we need to finish off plasterboarding in here, finish off the stripping of the wallpaper and the wood chip. 
look how they used to do um, the plastering. That's how they used to do it. They used to use wooden things like this and then plaster over that. And horse hair. Did they use horse hair as well back in the day? Excuse me. And now you don't. You use plasterboards. <laughs> so, um, yeah, it's interesting. Oh, can you see horse hair? Is that? I don't know. So this room is the last room to get prepped. And then, yeah, we're ready for plasters. Like I said, this is going to be my office. Again, the radiator is going to come out. We're not keeping these old fashioned radiators. We'll be putting all the new vintage looking ones in, in keeping with the house. All the switches as usual upstairs to match. Not sure where my desk is going to go, probably on this side, or is it gonna go in the middle? Not sure, but I'm sure I can create a gorgeous little space in here because I love my office. It's where I get ready in the morning as well. I miss my iMac computer. Can't wait to get that back out either. Um, but yeah, really excited for all these rooms to add to the house. And yeah, that's the updated progress in the renovation upstairs. I can't wait to start choosing all the decor and the fixtures and the fittings again. And I'm just excited to have a dressing room, <laughs> definitely. I'm excited to have a office as well because I just miss my old office. It was so lovely in that office. <laughs> Do you remember the old office? I loved it so much. I was in there quite a lot. Good morning, Ralphie. What are the birds telling us today? Are they telling us about the weather? Do you think they're saying, it might sunshine, come out and play? Ralphie, don't be rude. <sighs> Ralphie, don't be rude. Where's the blogs? He's being rude. He's really sassy, isn't he? Can you come and give me a cuddle? Can you? Oh, thank you. <laughs> I love you, Ralphie. I'm so lucky I get to cuddle this by all day in a real cuddly mood i just feel really warm and fuzzy after mother's day i don't know i just feel really blessed really loved just really happy inside oh i saw something what was i looking at i don't know i look at all sorts you know what i'm like <laughs> it was this article that said it said smiling releases signaling molecules in the brain which positively affect the immune system which basically means the more you smile, the more you can heal yourself. Isn't that wonderful? Like, isn't the body amazing? Do you know when I think about it too much, like the making of the body, like the putting together of it, it's like, you cannot tell me that a big bang caused this intelligence. You can't tell me that that's what it is because that's just a... That's just an awful way to live. <laughs> like there's something very intelligent out there that created this, you know, like, wow. Totally sidetracking, sorry. <laughs> you know what I'm like? Um, yeah, so the next stages upstairs are the plasterers. And we've actually contacted our plasterer people that we know. And we've got two options. And we're going to go with whoever's free at the, t the first opportunity when we're ready for them. Tradesman. Anyway, one of the guys we use for plastering is lovely. I absolutely love him. You know, when I said I hate tradespeople because they're not reliable. This one guy who we had come in, one of, uh, to help plaster downstairs. Like, we used a few different people because it just wasn't all free, you know, like, and we needed it doing. Anyway, he always showed up on time. He was just a very meticulous worker. You know, the um, arches downstairs in the fireplaces, he really took his time on my arches. He brought his son in one time because he was working weekends because um, we needed it We needed it doing. And it, he was just so lovely to give up his time like that, you know, with his family. Anyway, he's just lovely. Well, he's free in about... Two, two or three weeks, we think. Hopefully everything goes to plan. I am prepared this time for it not to go as smoothly as I think it's going to go because <sighs> that's just the world we live in, especially with these tradesmen. So in the meantime, Ash is going to just carry on prepping the rooms ready for plasterers to come. And then hopefully in a couple of weeks time, we'll see some plaster on the walls upstairs. Another dusty job that I'm not looking forward to. So there's going to be lots of cleaning going on in the renovation blogs behind the scene. And then obviously it's going to be time again to get the painting gear on 
and the white paint out again and we can start afresh upstairs and get all excited about little pieces of furniture coming in so yeah i hope you enjoyed this video give me a thumbs up on this video it really helps my channel out the most always always leave me a comment down below oh update i was sat in bed last night reading all of your comments <laughs> to ash on that last video it's hilarious he hasn't seen it i don't think as far as i'm aware he hasn't really seen it has he um but he will he, he might do and i'm thinking if he doesn't see it it's because it's a haul like I, I think he might only watch the renovation videos not sure i don't think he's interested in the hauls but you ralphie are you being rude on camera <gasps> Has he been being rude on camera the whole time and I didn't even notice? I am so sorry. <laughs> oh my God, has he ruined the video? Oh my God, I'm going to have to edit that back and I might have to cut all that bit out that I've just been banging on about. <laughs> I hope not. Ralphie, I hope you haven't ruined this video. Anyway, I'm going to wrap it up here, you guys. I'm going to have a nice afternoon, admin afternoon. I'm going to have a cup of tea, a shortbread, and I'm going to do a lot of admin work probably and get on top of all my emails and things roll on that office being done that's all i can say <laughs> i hope you're all having a wonderful week so far and i will see you all in my next video bye guys